tonight? Can anybody confirm? I would, but terrible insight. Mm, what is it, YouTube ad I'm looking at, or no? It has Twitch. to be on another Twitch. I haven't just set up a Twitch yet. Pete, it's on you. All right, I'll try. Apparently, it's on me. Yes, I'm. I'm working my way there. Um, I'll try, Twitch. but I might disappear out of voice. I think we're up. Log in. But he doesn't even remember who I am. Well, how do you know that cucumber ice cream tastes good? I think we're up. I think we're up. I see a Dungeon Dragon screen. But not roll twenty. Not. Oh yeah, I'm there. Wow. Okay. How do I get there with you guys? Oh. That's because you've got a DM who's on the ball. I so, uh, hello everybody. Welcome to Zeref's channel. We've taken over. Uh, Zeref can't join us tonight. Uh, but he uh, he gave me <clears throat> the key to his channel <clears throat> so that uh, we could continue uh, in his absence. Uh, hopefully, it's a short absence. Um, we've we've got our DM uh, Pete as we continue the uh, our pirate adventure. What is it? Tides of the Trackless Sea or something. Trackless like Sea. Yeah. So uh, take it away, Pete. Uh, welcome. Um, I'm going to DM Tried Tides of Trackless Sea. This is uh homebrew, uh, Forgotten Realms. Uh, out out in the ocean uh, pirate themed campaign uh our adventurers had um just see recently gone care more um we have with us today um devious sphinx who is playing bobby up oh, up oh, did i lose did you lose me no no yeah, i'm playing bobby and bobby, bobby is Oh, do you have the full descriptions? All yeah, right. Let's give, well, remind people who Bobby is. Bobby's a nice little lady. She's only got some uh, deer horns growing out of her head. Um, she's given to a little bit of practicing fey magic and stuff, and hopefully, usually, you usually get to charm people instead of kill them. Usually. Uh, she seems to have fallen in with these guys and gone. Chasing down Christmas trees and chasing down orcs and usually getting you know, badly wounded in the process or eaten. So she's a little leery of this new adventure, hearing that it's going down into the sewers. There's supposed to be alligators down there or something, right? So that's who I am. There, Bobby. There the... can be. Hmm? There can be, yes. Alligators are known to be in sewers occasionally. No DM foreshadowing, none at all. No, no, no. And we have Toby playing Nimrus. Yes, Nimrus is a Triton man in his early 30s. And he's been... Uh, sorry, words are hard. It's <laughs> very late in the morning for me. He's a work hard, play hard, roguish type who... Sales a lot and generally likes to make a lot of coin, but not always in the most legal of ways. And we have Aaron playing Blue, who's also going to give us a recap from last week. Uh, that's right. Can y'all hear me okay? Oh, yep. Yes. All right. Yeah, so I'm playing uh, Blue Curacao, the uh, Water Genasi Tempest Cleric. Uh, I'm happy to be back uh, out in the open seas. Of course, here we're currently we're docked in uh, is it what's it called, Caramore? Better than being in a Christmas house, right? Um, oh yeah, and uh, or Fort Tavery. <laughs> and so, uh, so this is this is uh, great for me. I, I'm uh, ready for. Uh, we're waiting for our our ship to complete its repairs. 
uh, it's in a dry dock right now, correct? Yes. And um, so uh, while we're here at the uh, um, in this uh, town, uh, we were asked to investigate. I think d due to uh, Nimrus's contacts, I think we were asked by uh, uh, some of his uh, associates, your friends. <laughs> right? Uh, to uh, investigate uh, some murders that have been happening uh, uh, at the marketplace uh, on the dock. Um, this is the first I've heard of this. I just kind of woke up and they were somebody there battle worn. You were you were getting hammered in the bar. Yeah. So hammered. Uh, <laughs> drinking wise, hammered. Uh, the murders, uh, I think, were affecting the local thieves guild uh, because they're not able to. Uh, uh, because people aren't coming to the docks as much, people aren't shopping as much, they're more uh, going downtown to the central district uh, and doing the uh, the shopping there. So uh, the, the Thieves Guild, um, is they're, they're cut. Um, they're seeing reduced revenues uh, due to these uh, murders. And so they've asked us to investigate, help out the local... A constabulatory in uh, solving the murders. Uh, they did appear that, and some of our clues that we found included that uh, the uh, the victims were, uh, I think, uh, impaled with some sort of horn or tusk. In fact, I think we have a broken off uh, horn in our possession. Bobby, is that right? Bobby that pulled her out over her head with covering her horns. <laughs> Um, it, we also, um, um, again, it was very suspicious that these murders were happening and they were going unsolved. And there were some brutish, uh, city watch guards that are in charge of the, and get their cut, uh, from the marketplace in the central district. And of course they're rolling in the dough now that all the traffic is going there instead of the docks. Uh, so we have our suspicions about some of the. Uh, the city guard, uh, some of which are known and have a reputation of being unsavory, uh, maybe even more so than the local thieves guild themselves, in fact. And um, but some blood trails and stuff led us to the sewers here under the docks, and when we went under, we found uh, evidence uh, from we're not sure how far back that somebody had been investigating how to summon demons and possibly succeeded in, su in summoning a greater demon um, <laughs> to their own uh, demise. Demise, yes. Um, so uh, continuing our investigation, we encountered a room full of giant spiders that were quite difficult for us to overcome uh, for some strange reason. It may have something to do with the fact that the cleric didn't prep good spells for that, but <clears throat> you didn't hear that from me. Uh, it may have to do with roll 20s and notorious rolls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's Nimbus go with that. wasn't exactly having a good day. But let's go with that. Let's let's blame roll 20 for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, the uh, evil god of mischief, right? So, um, after a short rest, we sent... Um, we sent oh, um, Alandris. Alandris to go find Bobby so that we could get some assistance here since things were so difficult. And uh, I think we lost Alandris, but Bobby kind of wandered down on her own anyway. So, hey man. Uh, Alandris, I, we met at the bar. He, he or she, I forget what it is. Anyway, they sat down by the bar next to me and started slamming down drinks. And I took that as my cue to just. Track that back the way he went with all the blood stained footprints you can see. So Yes, so you find yourself in this in the sewers. Um investigating the sewers. Then you got anywhere you guys want to go. Uh, ooh, wow, there's a big pinnacle. Nice. So um desk. Yeah. so we do know that this door over here is locked. 
we could not Which open door? it to in the lower left or going towards oh, the Oh, that door. Okay. Oh, I do have the knock spell. Um, I will point out this arrow over here by where you guys are right now. Um, this it just continues on. The sewer just continues on. I don't have my port. All right. I take that back. I don't have the knock spell. Never well, let's mind. Let's go over here then. Let's go explore this area. What do y'all say? Sure. Which area? The that area? Above us. Okay. How are we going to get it? Oh, I guess there's a little pathway around the water or something. Yeah. Uh, the water's yeah, not very deep. Walk. Yeah, we can. You can kind of just go across it. Oh, can't, well, you can go across it. You're it, the water. It, 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 did, it does count as difficult terrain, but it's not very deep. Does it count oh. for difficult terrain for me? I'm a triton. Like, uh, no. no, not for anyone who's water based. So basically, it's a difficult terrain for me. Mm -hmm. The other two are fine, right? Yep. <laughs> so you see a long hallway. Uh, everyone's got uh, some sort of light or dark vision, right? I guess. Uh, I'm going to have to cast the light spell. Yeah, I don't have dark vision. So I'll cast the light spell on my uh, Warhammer, the tip of my Warhammer. I have superior dark vision. Probably not very good if someone's got a light mucking it up, but okay. I do have some pretty dark vision. Oh, well, do you want to lead the way, Warlock? Not particularly. So that our dark vision doesn't interfere, so that our light doesn't interfere with your dark vision. <laughs> not particularly, sorcerer. Oh, wait, so we haven't got anything. This, this is how we end up in a TPK again. We, we'll let the Warlock take the point. No, no. Let me take point. You summon the light. All right, fine. I'm going to check for traps as we go. Oh, we okay. do have a tanky character, a rogue. <laughs> you going to yeah, give me a I'm... check on that? Investigation? Yes. You don't find any traps. This place hasn't been uh, wandered for quite some time. Uh, you find lots of dirt, dust on the ground, and no footprints. Of any kind. Before we get to rolling, I'm gonna inspiring leader to give everyone some hit points. Uh, so that'll be five plus cover, so that'll be eight hit points each, temporary. That's a feat. So we can do it, boys. We can find the source of this uh, dastardly deeds. I have faith in you. Good job. When did you Good become boy. the leader? Mm -hmm. When did you become the leader? <laughs> I'll go ahead and give uh, numerous guidance. Uh, maybe not necessarily for the investigation, but for the next whatever that comes up. Might be a perception check or something. Uh, the hallway splits off. Um, it, like I said, it still doesn't look like anyone's traveled here. Uh, you don't detect any traps. I'll go ahead and give numerous a uh, mage hand tap on the back. Nimbus will turn around, just like, what the hell? And then look at Bobby, just like, really? I'm trying to pay attention. Uh, you do see a door down the hallway? Ooh. Mm. So feel free to use that guidance. Oh, some traps are wide. I will do. Uh, is this door locked? Um... It is locked. All right, I'm going to try and pick the lock. Hey, what's down that hall? Down the hall to the north. It's a hallway. Can you see down? That's got dark vision. Is that down? Uh, what's your distance on your dark vision? Um, superior, so it's 60 feet and then 6 feet, um, I think. So 120? Yeah. But I can't discern colors. Oh, more water. Yay. Did I get uh, these tools on the door? Yeah. Do you want me to use Dex? Ah, yes, please. Just picking a lock. 
And then you're okay. Uh, so you, you pick the lock. From that. Oh yeah. D four. You picked the lock. It wasn't that difficult. And then you unleash the hounds of hell. I'm just gonna gently push it open and tuck against the wall next to the door. You hear the yip 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 yapping of the hounds of hell. Uh, you see into what looks like mostly empty room. Um, you do see uh, a staircase going up. Hmm. Back to the dark side. A, a, a wooden staircase going up. Uh, I don't have a it directly on the map. I could probably freehand. So be here. Good freehand. Yeah, that's a wooden, definitely. <laughs> definitely wooden. Little bowed. And does this look like another door over here? Um, do you want to go in the room? I'm just peeking around the corner for now. I've pushed the door open. I'm just peeking. Well, the you you don't have a light source on you, right? So no, blue's the light source kind of behind. So okay, well I'll go in. I'll step. I'll step one foot in, or one one square in. So yeah, you see uh, another door on the far end of the room. Hmm. Uh, looks like the staircase leads up to like a hatch of some sort. And you hear some um, some noise upstairs, above. And you also hear some noise to the south. Look on the other by side that of the door. door. Um uh you can give you can give me a um a perception check and tell them to to notice what the noises are. Uh is it gonna be in general or do I need to specify which one? Um yeah, one for each or specify which one you wanna listen for. Alright, I'll listen for the door. The door in front of us. I'll listen for upstairs. Okay, so uh, Nimrus, uh, to you it sounds like um, uh, maybe uh, human talking upstairs. Uh, sounds like they're just uh, chatting about like the day and stuff. Um. Blue, you hear a lot of squeaking. Uh. Nimrus is going to quietly gesture to the others to be quiet, and it's going to try and sneak up the stairs and block the hatch. Let me, uh... Okay. I will once again give you guidance on stealth, so that way you can use it for stealth or whatever. You need to. We're standing still. Do we need to roll anything? Well, Nimrus is moving to block the hatch up the stairs. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so, do you want me to stealth, Pete? Um, you can if you want. Yeah, give me a stealth. Can, can he block the hatch, or is it going to open upwards? Um, it. Yeah, the hatch will pull upwards, so um, you'll have to find some way to um, secure it so it can't pull upwards. Maybe some rope or something. I've got some rope in my pack. I could tie it down to the stair. Tie it to the stairs. I don't know when they open that, they break the stairs. <laughs> exactly, and they can't come down. Okay, no, they're gonna um, down. They just have to take falling damage. Ah. <laughs> so you tie you you tie like the handle, yeah, uh, for the hatch um, down to the uh, stairs. Yeah. So if anyone tries to pull the hatch, it will break the staircase. I'll even purposely weaken it. Or just won't open. Yeah. <laughs> but just like a rope on the corner of the stair. So if someone pulls the hatch, it'll break the staircase. 
Okay. Hmm. Physics. All right. Should I go ahead and try this door then? Well, let me get in there with you guys, just in case. Um, when you get near the door, mm -hmm. you see the door starts like moving back and forth. The squeaking gets louder. Huh. I'm writing a spell if we need it. <laughs> Is it locked? No. Yeah, can I see if the door is locked? The door is not locked. You opening it? No, I'm just trying it. <laughs> um, you turn on the handle? No. <laughs> sure. Yes, I'm turning the handle. Okay. As soon as you turn the handle, the door bursts open, and a lot of rats start pouring out the door. Uh oh, rats. Oh, rats. Womp, womp, womp. That joke. There's a, I don't know if you've guys seen it, but there's this um, video game, just fairly new, where uh, there's lots of rats in the game. It's like oh, the, the plague one. Plague one, yeah, Plague Tale, I think it is. That's basically what you're seeing. Now. So not Choo Choo Rocket, huh? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I looking at this toy? He's... That's there, that's there. That's there. Let's go. Front. That's a lot of rats. So, um, yeah, as soon as you open the door, uh, basically a swarm of rats just compiling out the door. You don't even have to open the door. As soon as you, like, turn the latch, right? As soon as the latch, as soon as it becomes unlatched. It just forces its way open. They just force the door open, and they just compiling it on you. You're just covered in rats right now. Um, everyone give me initiative. Mm. That's probably old. Let me. It remembers this doing well. Blue's doing well. Oh my god. Alexander's. Question. Last session, I used my once a day. Well, sorry, not once a day, once a long rest spell casting feature, right? Uh, I believe so, yes. Yeah, so I don't have that now. Because we've uh, not had a long rest, we just had a short rest. Yes, you had a short rest. Yeah, just checking so I don't try and use it and then get told no. Uh, what was it again? I could check. Uh, control A and C. That's the one with the hurricane, right? The... Basically, it gives me a couple of spells, and I can use it once a day. Or once a long oh, you, rest. I think you cast a wall of water? Yeah, I think I use wall of water to try and surround something. Was that part of it? Yeah, that's the use of it. And we haven't had a long rest, so I think no. I don't have it. Yeah, so yeah, so you, still, you can still do gust of wind or fog cloud, you just can't do wall of water today. Oh, I get one of each? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was just one overall. No, it looks like one of each from what I'm reading. Hmm. No, I think it's just it levels up and you get better spells until fifth level. And... No, once I think you I use it, you long there. rest. I 
think I sent him. No, monsters in the wrong layer, or what? This is not the rat layer. This is a room layer. We're attack being attacked by room. Rats are just decoration. Yeah, sometimes playing around the layers can be a pain. Okay, now I can roll initiative. I like the custom map, so that's cool. Giant rat. Yeah, that's a... Actually, no, you're right. It is ambiguous the way it's... Yeah, it's a weird wording. But the way I read it is you get one of those spells once along the rest. And I will be RB. Yeah. Once you cast a spell with a straight, you can't cast that spell with it again. Yeah, the question is, because I'm looking at it, this is in Volo's guide, page 118. Yeah. And and the problem is, it usually it's once you've cast a spell with this trait, you can't cast that spell again. But this is saying once you cast a spell with this trait, you can't. Do so again until you finish a long rest. So the wording that that Toby has in in the chat window is different from the wording that's in the book. I mean, that might have been errated. I don't know. Good question. Or the one Toby has could have been from the uh, the other book. Was it the um? Xanathar or something? I think it was in Xanathar. No, they, they, before they release them, they usually put them in another book first. Um, the, uh, what is it called? It's not really a book, it's a, like a work, ongoing working PDF that they build. Um, oh. yeah. I can't remember what it's called. There's no, there's another document they put everything in before they release it, though. They, it's like a home. Yeah, like Unearthed Arcana or something. Yeah, that's it. Unearthed Arcana. So it may have been from our... Okay, so... Order, I need to put these guys... Uh, did I press wrong? Descend? Mm. Okay. Nimrus, um, a whole bunch of rats just came pouring out this door that blue just opened. What do you want to do? Are there any on blue? Uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch on blue right now. Oh, Alright. I'm going to try and stab them. Hmm. How stupid is an idea as that is? And I have sneak attack because blue's there, giving me advantage. Mm -hmm. Mm. Hits. Hmm? Oh, wait, I need to roll sneak attack as well. There's a way of getting a roll 20 to toggle sneak attacks. Yeah, I just didn't toggle it. Ah. <laughs> Oops. So, 12 damage. Okay, you kill a bunch of rats. Uh, bonus action, I'm going to try and hide around the corner. A little further than that, sir. <laughs> is your, is, yeah, you're, you have magical rapier. Yeah, it's plus one rapier. Actually, it doesn't matter. But yeah, stab rats, run away, hide. It didn't do as much damage as you thought it would. There, I guess there's just too many rats. Yeah, and stabbing at a swarm of rats, not the best strategy. But yeah, stab rats, run away. They can't take an opportunity attack because I attack them.
Mm. And then terrible. Oh, 18 for Hyde because I shouldn't have had advantage. And that's my go. Now for the rats. Rats go. Who's the clerk again? Pete. Say Pete's the clerk? No, no, wait. Sorry, Jody. Pete, you there? Mm -hmm. You've lost Pete. You've lost Roll 20. Yeah, I think we lost Pete. Yeah, I think we did. gonna it's a good thing that you backed off but you don't know if he's took an opportunity attack against you or not right he can't because of his archetype yeah swash buckler oh. fancy footwork he's been right Pete. is he back in <laughs> Pete, are you here voice wise? Okay, here we go. Oh. Hear me now? Yeah. Yeah, we can hear. You. Sorry about that. My ISP is useless. Mm. They 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 have a tendency to disconnect me like once or twice a day, and always at the best of times. <laughs> um, oh, cool. So um, the giant rat attacks. And uh, bites blue. All right, three piercing mm. for three piercing damage. Um, second giant rat bites tries to bite blue. That wouldn't hit. Uh, nineteen hit. Nope. And the third one tries to bite blue. Twenty-one hit. Yes. For six piercing damage. Oh, they're working there because those super hit points. They're all those ten hit points. <laughs> That's cool. Blue. Oh. You got rats on you. You got rats all over you. You, you, you. Rats everywhere. That's right. Rats over here. Rats over there. I will. All right. First, let me get this one off on the board. Uh, I will... This is the most disgusting Dec sight you've ever seen. I will decrement my channel divinity. And go Super Saiyan. To Are these like the rats in Stranger Things 3? To use Destructive Wrath, so I'm going to use max damage. On... Shatter, Damn. but I won't have any level 2 slots left. So I'm going level 3. So, since it's max damage, it really is, what is it, 3d8 plus another d8, is that right? 32. 3d8 is 24, and then, yeah, another d8 is 32. 32 points of thunder damage. Um, where is it going to be? It's going to be centered at this point right here. So not the the not the rats on me, but at least. Okay, so this big boom that will and a whole people bunch of rats and rat guts <laughs> come flying out the door. 
<laughs> Coding you and Bobby and Brett bits and pieces. Them's the breaks. That's why we hide. Bobby, you're covering rat guts. What do you want to do? I still have rats on me, right? Yes, you do. Well, shucks. Hmm. I'll try to shake some of the white rat guts off as I'm casting a spell, I guess. Um, can I toll the dead to swarm on... Uh, Oops, I, I deleted my rats. So I'm being told the dead, and it's 12 points, DC 14, on the ones that are on blue. Um, and that is a wisdom save. Ooh, they take the damage. 12 points. Well, they already wounded? Yeah, they yeah, are, are thief wounded. So, why the 12th it... wounded or the 6th wounded? 12, I think 12, because I think it's a... Uh... Yeah. The question, though, is, Jody, why, does, is why is that one set at 2d12 and the other one is only set at 1d8? Shouldn't they both be set at 2d whatever? I'm not good at programming. Um, uh, yeah, probably. I'll check into the spell. Let's see. But yeah, um, 2d8, and I'll work out the spell. So most of the rats fall off blue just from hard tax they they've seen all their all their cousins and and nephews and brothers and sisters all get blown to bits but there's still a couple a couple stragglers that are like won't give up great and then there's still another swarm in there right I'm... I'm not sure how to get it to affect the damage to in the roll twenty setup. Because it's cantrip dice and that's affecting the first one, but I guess I could just do change of value to two D eight. You probably just have to change value in there. <laughs> Toby, what do you want to do? You still awake? <laughs> He's falling asleep. Did I, did I lose Toby? I don't know, maybe. It might have been his uh, ISP, ISP oh. resetting, too. <laughs> He's gone out of roll 20 right now, so. Yeah. Probably it's like cool. it's Like a rolling wave or something like that. <laughs> it's an EMP that's going from Canada to England. If it, if it actually went that far, it would probably be a lot worse than uh, getting off the internet. Somebody detonated a nuke over the North Pole or something. Hmm. I think we've lost Pete again. No, no, I was just uh, thinking what to do. Um, do you want I'll to duplicate get... his last roll? His I'll last... get back to him in a bit. He gets back. Um, the rats on blue will attack him no no don't be don't attack blue it will miss no, nothing but plate or whatever armor you're wearing and the other swarm. You better not. You better get back. <laughs> Twenty. So it was on Bobby. Uh, Blue, you get a, you get a, a attack of opportunity on the swarm that ran past you. All right, I'll take it. Flat. <laughs> that's my right. That's right. Do you squish a rat? <laughs> the squeak. He's back? No, he's not back. 
Um, blue. All right, let's. Uh, they have. Uh, they they appear to since it's a swarm. They probably have resistance. So I will. Sacred flame. The ones on me. It's a deck save DC fifteen. Fail. So that seven points of radiant. Last of the rats on you burn to a crisp. Now you got you got rat guts, rat cooked rats, and just <laughs> dead rats on you. And they got some rats in the grave. Uh Bobby. Alright, um I don't want to do that, but I do want to do that. Oh, that could have gone off. Oh, well. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I'll use it there. I could have had a hellish rebuke back on the rats attacking me. But oh, well. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm doing, uh, I think, this one. Did they attack okay, you? That's my area effect. Got it. Hmm? Did they attack you? Yeah, I think I think they meant no, they didn't. Oh they yeah, did you're not supposed they... to register. Yeah, they did, but they missed. No, right. No. So then, yeah. No, they attacked you and they missed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you didn't register the other one, the other swarm attacking Bobby. No, yeah. I did not. So then. So they so... did not attack Bobby. Okay. Oh, they're being kind of the rats. They want to be my pets. Okay. They're 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 eating their fall, fallen brothers. So um, do I want to attack them after all, or do I want to try them? <laughs> That's why I'm familiar. No. Uh, welcome. welcome back. All right. Um, I, they're wounded though, so I'll go pull them. 17 points of necrotic damage. Are they wounded? I guess they are. To all the dead. Like... I was going to say. Okay, so I didn't damage him either. <laughs> and our thief can uh, recover from his dumbfounded stare up the stairs. You back, Toby? Vaguely. <laughs> <laughs> my, my internet is doing it. Yes. A S storm right now. So trying to keep it family friendly, but I'm very aggravated. Blue's covered in dead rats, whereas I'm covered in half dead rats, so Yes, and you got two attacks. Two rounds. <laughs> so there's there's some rats left on Bobby right now, that's all that's left. Yep. So blue and oh, you cut out, Toby. Can you repeat? I think he's still having a problem with his internet. Probably, yeah. This is what you get when you borrow your internet from the pub button near your house. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're having like uh was it quiz night right now right yeah, yeah. It's, it's his internet that's why it keeps cutting out <laughs> <laughs> okay oh, oh please that's, that's, right. you know what word huh? Shit, it's <laughs> shit's my internet <laughs> all right lose him again? No. so now i'm here roughly maybe okay. hopefully We've got a small horde of rats crawling over me right now. Nothing to be worried about. Just how just do <laughs> well, we just, we just don't hear you, Toby, at all. Type it in. Yeah. There we go. Looks like Nimrus is typing. 
No, I'm uh, I'm standing in the doorway still. Yeah, but his his internet probably died when you're in the. Mm -hmm. I was probably moving you over so I could show the uh, the rats. <laughs> There okay. we go. There okay. we go. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, does he get surprised on those? Um, uh, yes. You you have a uh, an ally within five feet, so sneak attack counts. Right. On one of them. On no, on both actually. You're gonna mm -hmm. give him for both, right? Yep. They're two turns, two separate turns. Mm-hmm. I think those rats might be kind of skewered. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41? Yeah. 17, yeah, 41. Yep, 41. Or halved to 20. There's one rat left. Wow. It'll be my familiar. Blue. All right, man, let me sacred flame that one. No, no, don't kill it. I want it as a familiar. Nice. There, there goes your familiar. <laughs> Gotta wait till tomorrow for that. <laughs> That's nine points of radiant damage. You can't resist that. <laughs> Silly swan. Blinded by the light. Wrapped up like a douche. A runner in the night. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we got inside this room? So, um, rat droppings, yeah, exactly. So, um, yeah, it's, it's mostly, um, it looks like rat droppings, dead rats, um, <laughs> rat intestines, rat tails, rat ears, rat heads. Um, uh, also looks like there, there may have been some crates with food in them, but they all look empty, mm -hmm. hence the rats. Um, you also hear from above. You hear some some shouting, and you hear someone rattling the uh, the the door, uh -oh. the uh, the trap door from above. Did I do that? They're like, "What's going on downstairs? Who's making all that noise? Someone, someone in the basement." Nimbus is going silent and gesture to the other two to duck out of sight. And he's going to duck under the stairs. Okay, gotcha. I'm going to step up and start cleaning, seeing if I can find anything in the room under the guts. <laughs> I'll give you guidance. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess it's just cleaning a foot uh, per, per round. So, um, so event eventually the, the, the rattling on the door stops and, and, um, and you hear someone go up upstairs saying, well, I can't get downstairs. I'm going to call the city watch. There must be someone down there. And then it sounds quiet. Oh, they said city watch. Uh, guys, we got to move. Bobby, blue, let's go. And quickly. Oh, all right, then. Let's go. And yeah, you don't find anything else in, underneath the, the rats. Blue, blue, where are you? <laughs> Blue's clues. Blue, run. Maybe, maybe it's time for his internet to die. Hmm. <laughs> Just give me a sec. <laughs> my dinner. Um, what do I see down the corridor with my dark vision before they get? Too late. He's here. Ah, screwed up my vision again. 
I'm blind, I'm blind. There and two. Ooh, ooh. I don't know. Cross over to the other side yet? Hmm. Was Karma in this campaign too? Um, uh, she decided not to. Hmm? She's just doing desert for now. Okay. So she's dragon food with the rest of us. <laughs> yeah, she might not even be doing desert anymore. Yeah, she's like all pissed off. Is this a glass for me right here? We can hear. So we see a lot of stuff. Hmm. We want to explore one of our what? side corridors. Maybe we could go up and catch a connection on the right. So yeah, up north you see a uh, big pool cistern. Um, to the left you see uh, looks another hallway, and down to the south you see what looks like another hallway. <sighs> I thought it was top right. Because that at least connects back up to where I've been. Or it seems to connect up. Alright. Ladies first. Okay, fine. <laughs> you're, you're insisting on putting a warlock in the lead of the party. This is going to dive into the water and swim along underneath. Okay, Bobby, before you go on. Sir? Somebody appears? Everyone hold, everyone. Initiative? Is that, oh, look at that. Initiative. Clear okay. the same. Core, initiative. Like, how did I do? Ooh, about as good as last time. What did we see? Something in the cistern of it. Here's where they keep the evil demon. Oh, and look, the fish right in there with it. Hey, nice. Memories. Is that a tentacle you're sporting, or is that just a new fashion? Wait, tentacle? <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so, so <laughs> Nimrus, as you're, as you're walking uh, along in the, uh, in the shallow water here, when you, when you step out here, it suddenly becomes really deep. Oh, yeah, you, tentacle. <laughs> you take like a, a dive underwater, and um, the water is not the cleanest. It's kind of full of shit and stuff. It's a sewer. It's a sewer. <laughs> yeah, uh, but like, I wasn't it. expecting the greatest. You weren't expecting what? I wasn't expecting the greatest. Like, this is... Now, the question is, is it poisonous, though? Is it so toxic that... Oh, hey, look, there's an alligator. Well, and... yeah, you you see a shape in the water, and yes, it's an alligator. Oh, son of a... I'm going to surface and just frantically wave at the others. <laughs> the alligator's coming for you. It probably has an end goal feature too. Hmm. So you can I like that sound of that. <laughs> well, well, he's gonna well. beat my in. This is where we see how numerous uh numerous skills of taxidermy from the inside. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. You know, all blue. I don't know what you're up to. But... Does it have hostile intent? Um, it looks like it's trying to eat Nimrus, so yes. <laughs> okay. 
Because he doesn't. Do I cast find familiar and make make this my familiar? It should have swallow holes, shouldn't it? Hmm. Well, it's not exactly small hole, but it's good enough. So, uh, Nimrus, what are you going to do? <laughs> We've already lost him. Actually, did we lose? No, we didn't lose. Okay. Did we lose him again? He's still in roll 20. Maybe this is a classic curse of the uh, what? Are, what are the party name is the non-commitments or something? Or the non-commitments. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we're having we... fun, fun with the internet tonight, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Whenever we're not fully uh, present, then the internet conspires against us to prevent us from going on. We didn't have very many problems with the internet last week. Well, no, it's. <laughs> it's it's no I'm thinking uh, there have been past sessions like months ago so where we had one person missing and it seemed to have uh, I might be imagining it but I know we've had bad sessions before first people were in you were missing last session and everything went just fine yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> but um how's the weather in England uh, terrible in Wales at the moment. <laughs> oh, okay. That was a smooth correction there, uh, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wales, yes, true. I always forget that. Uh, I'm thinking you're in a pub in London or something. No, you're, you're off in the countryside, aren't you? Yeah, way out there. So what's the difference going to do? He's just delaying to avoid have being eaten. If I can keep on this initiative count for the rest of the night, then we we won't have to worry about the, what the crocodile does. And I get sneak attack because nobody else is in five foot. Yes. Ah, oh, he's being a pirate. Then. Oh my god. <laughs> The water impedes your sword. Bobby! Mm. You gonna move away, Nimmer? So you disengage? Yeah, bonus action, rogue, disengage, moving over to here. Just... No, it's been damaged. Uh... Sure, kill it. Oh, just the first one. Uh, my internet's acting up. So, wisdom say 14 with a possible 11 necrotic. Then I'm going to scooch around the side here. One, two, three, four, five. And I don't know. That leaves a little... Hmm. Sorry, Billy. Actually, I thought you could. Uh, I thought you could. Uh, bonus action, <clears throat> hide or something, and then just fancy footwork to to not have to disengage. Oh, true. I could have done that. My apologies. Can I wreck on that? Mm. Sure, if you want. Yeah, I'll fancy footwork to disengage because I attacked it. I don't get an attack of opportunity, and I will hide. I'm just going to dive down into the water as far as I can. Hmm. We're going to meet its family. (laughs) 
See the baby crush house cancer. That's good. Yeah, the baby crocodiles can't go for you. They'll just uh, eat your fingers. Well, if they can't see you, maybe not. It's kind of appropriate that you're getting a decent stealth roll when you're in the water, right? Oh, it's coming after someone else. Oh, no, blue! <laughs> Working with blues like a big uh, tin can. <laughs> Um, he tries to bite blue. That's a miss. And he tries to swipe him with his tail. That's a hit. 13 13 damage. Turn the crocodile for his tail. And can you give me a strength saving throw, yes? I am prone. You are not prone. Into the water? Or <laughs> that goes into that? <laughs> it should be into the water. Yeah, I can see it like doing a spin or something. Mm-hmm. Blue. Alright. Dude. He just took it a Dude, lap. I'm gonna stand off. up. And that guy hits like a truck. I'll go ahead and uh, cast Spirit Guardians. So let me let me re. I'm gonna uh, don't pay attention. I'm gonna just put it so that way the the text is on screen, but it's gonna redo the numbers. But ignore those numbers. Spirits flit around me 15 feet, up to a distance of 15 feet. Um, I'm going to say they look like a bunch of seahorses. Uh -huh. um, and of course, uh, my party is going to be unaffected by it. So it's going to be 17 points of radiant damage when they start. That's my last level 3 spell. Do you need an escape? What's that now? Do you need an escape? I could go over and thunderstep and get you out of there. Um, you will do like three d ten damage to it, as we're teleporting over ninety feet away. I'll just uh, I'll just hang on. We'll see what happens. Okay. How far away am I from it now? We're in the depths. Uh -huh. Yeah, you swam down, right? Yeah, I swam down my distance, so 30 feet down. But how far is it horizontal? Not quite 30 feet make... here. It's only like 20 feet here, so... Can I make 30 feet to it? It's like 35 feet on a diagonal, yeah. Because it's 20 feet across and 20 feet down. It's like 34 feet, or no, no, 30... 1.41 times 2, 28, 28 feet away. I'm figuring it's like in a... I saw it's a within right. 30 feet. Yeah, I was figuring it's a nice house is right time. You're 20 feet down and 20 feet away. So the hypotenuse would be 28. And I can move 30. So... Um, that, move that's 30. not how they do the, uh, the math in. Five, well, no, okay. that's how the math is. <laughs> Sorry. It, different math. They use different math in 5e. Special D and D math, yes. It's it's 20 feet to Can I get into melee? Yes, you can. Oh boy. 
then I shall do so and make an attack. And step by step. I was hidden, so I should have advantage and sneak attack. Yes, think so. Yes. Oh, come on. <laughs> you missed. That's the water uh, getting in your way there. Yeah. Uh, bonus action, disengage, move yeah. back like 10 feet. You still have moves? Okay. Bobby. Done. How many do I have here? Do the two of. I still like that one. It's just such a nice spell. Um. Hmm. We could have a lot of hit points, so I don't think that. Um, sure, I'll go to Tong. Make sure I can reach it in the uh, yeah, six feet. I should be able to reach it. Right. Tong, all the dead, crocodile, boo, your future is in boots. <laughs> I tell you, do turn boots. Nine points of radiant or necrotic damage. And anything else I can do? I don't think there's anything else I can do. So. Okay. Giant crocodile will try taking another bite out of blue. Hey. Try to swipe his tail out. He's good with that tail. Okay. Damn, Blue. There's one that's got knocked in the water there. Yikes. Oh. So another 10 bludgeoning. And another strength save. Mm hmm. Mm. You're not knocked down. Blue. I was ready this time. Fool me once, shame on you. Crocodile. So, oh, he takes another, he takes more damage from the uh, spirit guardians, right? I guess uh, it was a... Uh... Another 17. So it's a wisdom saving throw. So my DC is what, 15. So pass. So he passed, so he takes half of the 17. And I've got to make a constitution save for concentration. Come on. Oh, no. Ooh, denied. Okay, hey, I need to make a roll on a roll there. Healing, uh, how you doing? All right. Oh, so if 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 you failed your Constitution save, that was that would have been before he uh, or would it be on his turn? I guess it would have been. Yeah, when he started his turn is when he has to take the uh, wisdom saving throw. Boo! You want me to pull you out? Yeah. Uh, let's see what else I got on me. Uh, I've got, only got I'm down to level one spells. The I can detect magic the hell out of this crocodile. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> you gonna cast ten? Why do you not have guiding bolt prepped? 
every cleric has guiding bolt prepped all the time. I've never used that. What? He didn't go to the Will's school of clerics. <laughs> You went to the American Let me make a note for next time. Guiding Bolt, Mass Healing Word. Anything else? Mm. Raise Dead. Cure Wounds, right? Because I didn't prep. Cure True Resurrection. <laughs> right. True Resurrection. Hey, that's only Druids, man. You can't pull one over on me. <laughs> All right, let's go... Uh... So they want me to rescue you. <laughs> Let's go Thunder Wave. Oh boy. Watch away. Oh, Watch water ripple. Hmm? <laughs> Maybe a little backlash coming back at you as it hits the other wall. <laughs> Maybe here's where we find send all the it. little baby crocodiles. Did it send the. Uh... I clicked on it. I don't see it. I don't see it either. Uh, right. Let's, try one one is Let's... Let's try this one more time. Nope, it's not sending me. All right, let me just. Uh... You're afraid of not to use Thunder Wave. <laughs> it's a 15 foot cube, Constitution saving throw, 2d8 thunder damage, and push 10 feet from you. All right, so let's do roll 2d8. So, 8 points of thunder damage. <laughs> Four points. Successful save, which it was. It's half damage and isn't pushed away. You think a giant crocodile doesn't have good constitution? He's been he's been living in this sewer water for a long time now. Apparently, he's been eating a lot of poop and building up strength. <laughs> Probiotics. Who knew? Who knew that a shit sandwich was so uh <laughs> was so good for you? Was so nutritious. And at this point, I'm regretting my life choices. <laughs> um, and uh, because that was my action. So... You're about to become a shit sandwich? I'm about to become, yeah. Processed into a shit sandwich. <laughs> Never is. Can I bonus action hide first, then attack? Yes, you can. Alright, then I shall do so. Hmm. Not a bad hide. I'm guessing I get advantage on that. You're in, yes you do. Hits. Oh my god. Sneak attack, please. Roll 20, please. <laughs> Since I hit him, I'm going to move back 10 feet. And then bonus action, hide. You already used your bonus action. Oh, yeah, I did. Never mind. I'm just going to move back 10 feet. And yeah, right. I, could, I could use an exit. And you have ability to let you disengage without disengaging? Toby? If, if he hit. Yeah. If I if I attack them, I can disengage. As a free action. Hold on once again, I'm fixing my spell. Audible Thunder Boom with a tinted radius of thunder damage. Radius of the next mount. I made an attack, so he can't attack an opportunity back when I move away. Yep, got it. No thunder damage. Hmm. 
Yeah. Cool. Got it. Okay. So boom, 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 boom. we're gonna move on. Let's see. What is my move? Boom, 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 boom. This isn't difficult train or anything, is it? Nope. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so I move up to blue. To here. Well, I could say you slip on something and fall in the water. You could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could be that mean, yes. And then I will cast a spell. Boom. Thunder step. Oh. So. Hey, where'd it go? It's a good uh, sound, see anything? It's not a printing a spell card. So output is what? Attack. Do that again. Thunderstep. Oh, I see why. That's all. You gotta set it up for damage. Do, 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 do. This great miracle is boom, thunderstep. Boom. And we're gonna teleport. Hmm. Where do I wanna teleport to blue? about down to here so let me get a ruler going i'm teleporting to here okay so and i'll let blue move to the five space five foot space he wants to be in next to me And then blue's coming along with, I guess, if he wants it. So, yeah, so you save, so it takes five points. So where do I end up? Yeah, uh, pick, pick a space within five feet of me and have the ending destination. We could have gone further down, but I was like, no. Oh, your, I don't know how fast this explains, but oh my god! Hmm? Oh, what? So the uh, the crocodile dives into the water. <laughs> Blue, you don't see it anymore. Uh-oh. Heal yourself. Nimrus! Watch out for the tail, Nimrus! <laughs> I'm sure you'll feel the tail soon enough. Unless it dies, I don't know. Did it dive into the water, or is it just going to start sinking into the water? <laughs> it might be coming right at me, for all I know. Oh, that over here is shallow, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's only deep right in that one area where it never is. Is it Nemesis Go, or is it still on blue? Oh, it's on my blue? Go. Yeah. Um... Got a way of healing yourself. Yeah, I can just healing word myself, right? Yes. Are you bad off? Well, I'm at, uh... Where am I at? I'm like at 19 hit points. Mm -hmm. You're two hits from death, yeah. Yeah, with that tail, yeah. But I don't know that a healing word's gonna help. Probably not. Reach that to three. Yeah. So, what uh, about healing potions? So, Bobby and Blue are all talking about back and forth uh, down here. It's like, guys, guys. So, I'm going to make sure that, uh, so my Warhammer is still lit so that hopefully it 
even if it's not providing light to numerous he can at least tell where we ended up mm. right i think it's well that's a little more how far does your go 40 foot yeah but either way he'll be able to tell as there's a point of light right it's not going to illuminate where his at but he should be able to see the light source come back to the yeah. source <laughs> i'll see the light from where i am yeah, right now, the area you're at is totally dark. But I can see the light that uh, Blue is making. Yeah. And I'm yelling out, Numerous, look out for the tank. So you're, you're, not, you're not doing anything else with your turn, right, Blue? I will just go ahead and dodge. Numerous, what do you want to do? I'm going to duck my head under the water and say... Good fight, Master Gator. And then climb back up onto the ledge and make my way to the others. Alright, guys, what are we gonna do? We're we gonna hold it up somewhere in short rest or something? We're we gonna. What's our plan? Or do we wanna get out of here and do a long? Are we beat up enough to reward wet rest yet? I'm not actually, I'm not beat up at all, but I'm down one slot. Um, yeah, but you just came from the bar. Ah, uh, true. <laughs> yeah, we've well, been well. down here like a day. And I'm getting tired. Mm. Yeah, same here. Mm. Ooh. I guess the alligator let us glow, so let's take advantage. Mm -hmm. He might be waiting for us over here on the other side, but... We're going down that alley? Is that how we're getting tired? <laughs> or is that... Wait, wait. How's this leading to a resting area? Wait, what? Why are you going down that passage? Do you know what's down there? Oh, no, no. What? You know, seeing blue. Split party with you. <laughs> yeah, all right. Mm. Should we go over here then, Bobby? You want to go that way? I don't know. Uh, you want to go closer to where? Lives? Yeah, that's fine. We can look over here. I was curious about this area, anyways. Okay. Uh, what about first? Uh, you see a door to the south and the hallway just keeps going. And, uh, you do see, um, uh, some rubble in the... Rubble down here? Uh, Bobby um, does. So, um... Bobby, let me give maybe. you guidance and you listen at that door. Yeah, so we could uh, try to get numerous over here and... Okay, oh, I'll do it. But the guidance you say that's perception, is it? <sighs> perception. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. You, hear, you hear your own heartbeat. Yeah. No, oh, I got a four, not a two. You still hear your own heartbeat. <laughs> you hear your own heartbeat. There's a loud drumming sound from behind the door. You're still breathing heavy from the crocogator. Yeah, from the teleport. Takes a lot out to teleport around the world. All or, right. Nimrus, do you want to go try that door, or shall I just bust it open? 
Give me a moment to try my work. Right. I'll slap you with a guidance as you go forth. You'll slap him with a guidance, or I'll slap him with a touch. I'll slap him with a mage hand. You can do it! That's the verbal component and the semantic component as I slap him on the back. What are you doing with my hand? I was tapping him on the shoulder. Tapping the nose. Oh. Hearing all these things about slapping people with hands and stuff. Uh, yeah, you pick one. 21 feed tool, Sonjo. Oh, ah, 21. Good thing that fire trap just goes straight out in a line and doesn't come wrapping around corners. <laughs> going open the door? Yeah, I'm going to gently push it open. I'm not going to just, like, kick it open. I'm just going to push it gently, see what's on the other side. Uh, it looks like a... Fairly empty room. Uh, you hear some noise coming from above. Some sound of laughter and um, a little bit of music. Mm. Akin to a tavern. Yeah, maybe we should just go upstairs and like uh, make a impromptu entrance. You do see some like cleaning supplies down here, and some some mugs and and. Uh, Plates and uh, that door is unlocked. Okay, back over here. Mm -hmm. One sec. It's another one of those noise pain in the ass sideways quarters. Who, who in the world designed this map? I don't know. There's some there big black areas that haven't been uncovered yet. I'm wondering if there's hidden closets or something in this whole thing, or uh, rooms that are maybe they just tunneled into the rock and left it. All right, I'm. I'd say I designed this map, but I just I just got it off the internet. So. I'm gonna go upstairs and just peek. Okay, so upstairs, this is not a hatch this time. It's a door. Uh -huh. It goes up to a door. And yeah, you hear laughter on the other side, some some merriment, some uh, people walking around, uh, some people going cheers stuff, and uh, some singing. And you gonna open the door? Yeah. It is locked. What? Nemrus. Nemrus. Oh, you need my help? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. The door you're at is also locked. I'll, I'll, I'll keep you covered with a fire. Yeah, and a just try blast. the door you're at in Emerson. See if you can unlock that one. All right. Okay, I'll get behind you to cover you. In case uh, you get covered. Let's see, you've had rats and spiders so far. What other nasty oh, you got in this? So an 18 on his thieves tool. So you look in? Yeah, I'm going to peek it. I'm not going to open this, it all the way. I'm just going to... This is a well-lit room. In the center of this room is a table. A table that should not belong in this room. However they got this table into this room is beyond anyone's knowledge. Teleport. It's the size of the room. Maybe they use the, what is it, enlarge reduce spell. Yeah, reduce enlarge, that's important, yeah. Pull Maybe they built it from raw materials here in the room. They grew their own trees right here. <laughs> yes, however they got this table in the room, it definitely was not um, by bringing it into the room. They either built it in the room or they magically got into this room. Hmm. And on the other side of the table, you see a door. But this room is well lit. There's torches on the wall. They're lit. There's nothing on the table. It's it's bare. There's what chairs all around. Plans? <laughs> no secret plans. No maps. Nothing. Nothing. That's how we go ransacking tables. 
Nimrus will literally walk up and take a seat, put his feet on the table. Okay. Is this where we're going to have our rest, then? Just, uh... No, I'm just curious to see what happens if I sit here. It's it's quite a comfortable chair. Um, it's it's cushioned and everything. It it's actually too big for the door as well. It, you'd have to build the chair in this room to actually get through that door. I look up at the ceiling and see if there's any kind of like a I'm gonna indication look. that the ceiling can came loose at one point. The st- the ceiling is uh is wood planks. Hmm. Um, I guess someone could have put the planks down after they put the chair, the stuff in here. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Like they lowered it down and then they built the roof over, right? Uh, you do hear people upstairs, uh, music and laughter, and people walking around. Hmm. The door to the south is locked. Numerous. Ah, <laughs> uh, another lock. All right. Shadow Raid Legends. You can do it. It only uses me for my blood axe ability. It does sword abilities like healer. Minimum 27. Dang. I'm not even going to roll the D4. Go for it. Let's see 30. Come on, 30. Ah. <laughs> oh, look. Something's in there. Hey, Grandma. Uh, you see what well, looks like a statue. I don't know. From my vantage, it looks like a gremlin, like big ears and all that. Don't touch the gremlin. Don't feed it after midnight. Sleeping angels. No, no, not a church. Yeah, it, looks, it looks like uh, it looks like some sort of worship area. Maybe a church of some sort, or why well, it be underground? Who knows? In the sewers, the church, the god of the sewers. Mm. The rat god. The rat god could the be cro- the crocodile the god. Blitz. Two blitz. <laughs> god of foul loses. Oh god, please no. That's my entire Saturday night campaign is Jublex. <laughs> this is trigger me so bad right now. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you could get away from them, but no. <laughs> the handles are everywhere. Does the room look like it's used regularly? Uh no, it doesn't like look like it's been used for quite a while. Hmm. Search those statues, Nimrus. Hmm. Uh, uh, after you, this is creepy cult religion stuff. This is your area. All right, well, let me do a religion check then to see what, what exactly we're dealing with here. Yeah, I don't know what we're dealing <laughs> with. Or not. Uh, you, think, you think it's the god of... One sec, one sec. You think god it's the god of... Uh, Le- Levertar? The Maiden of Pain, the Scourge of uh, Mistress, the Willing Whip. Please. No wonder you, nobody you comes. The God of, the, of Pain, yes. So they don't think no they wonder nobody comes anymore. Pain. Let's find those curtains on the other one. All right, let me do a perception check here. I'm going to search these uh, statues. Mm. Can I guide you? That's my one good roll of the night. They're very fine statues. Um... Oh, wait, here. I have bad ones. <laughs> um, the, stat- the statues are in pretty good shape, considering that it doesn't look like anyone's uh, been here for a little while. Um. Mm. No secret passages or whatever. Or... So oh, I thought you were just checking statues. Well, okay. 
Uh, there's there there are no secret passages inside the statues. That's what I mean. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you keep you keep feeling that little holes underneath them that like active, actuating the wings or whatever the hell you know. To, to the button or something like that. There's no yeah. button in the butt. They cause so the maybe you turn them to face each other and then uh, and all sides open on the wall. They don't they don't turn or slide unless you could try to turn it. It it looks like it might be kind of heavy though. Mm. But it doesn't look like it's fixed to the floor 100%. Yeah, let me try to push it. Let me try to push one of them. Oh, boy. Give me a strength check. Uh, you can't push it. Yep. See, Too heavy. Uh, one good roll. <laughs> right. You need some guidance on that? Sure. Again. Yeah, I'll use the guidance on that. It was 1d4. Yeah. <laughs> wow. And they ain't bending. You still don't move it. Yep. He, he's, he, uh, Bobby's going, you got this, and you're saying, no, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> All right, let's go look over here. What are we looking at over here? Uh, it looks like a curtain. Yeah, curtains. What's behind it's curtains the for the party. I'm looking in the pews. What the heck? I'm looking in the pews. They they look very pewy. Pew no pew. books of any kind? No. Crazy uh, hymnal to elder gods. Um, you do find a book. I found a book. Ooh. What book did I find? Um. The spell book of an 18th level mage. Nope. Darn. <laughs> you find a religious text. Hey. Blue. Found something uh, in your alley. One sec, one sec. Let me get you the information. Maybe this is one of those books I start reading and then suddenly I convert it to another religion or something. Like on the spot conversion manual. My alignment was chaotic neutral. So you find. Right. Hello? Mm, Toby's lost in his. Uh... Whoa, Toby! Did we lose Toby yet? Yeah, no hearing. Uh, symbol that guy. One sec. Gotta find a symbol. Gotta find a god symbol. What? Um, looking for a god symbol here. God uh, symbol. All right, we hear you. Ah, there we are. Oh. We hear you. Ah. Welcome back. Why is it not my book? Are you technically a Welshman then? Since you're in Wales, or visiting. Uh, Englishman born in Wales. Okay. I don't have a I like put that. priority over heritage over birthplace. I was born in Wales, but both my parents are English as hell. So, I'm English with a dab of Welsh in me. Okay. So, you see a book. A book. With symbol of what looks like a cloud. And three lightning bolts are needed. Hey, Blue. Uh, I should know. Do you know what I'm about this? Do I get advantage in the, my religion check for this since it's probably in my domain? Well, but you get guidance. Yeah, I guess I can give you advantage on that. Alright, let's roll. I just realized I had guidance. I'm having so yeah, much fun. It's a shitty roll. Um, you see the lightning bolt like that, like that, with a zigzag this way. So fifteen. You you determine by looking at the symbol, and the text, and the lettering, that it's uh, God of Valkyr, Captain of the Waves. God of Valkyr, what? Valkyr, Captain of the Waves. Um. Patron of sailors, ships, favorable winds, and naval combat. Nice. Hmm. Well, that's useful, I guess. 
He's like um, Umberly's um, sworn enemy. Who's Umberly? Umberly's the the <clears throat> other god of one. Or goddess of one. Which god is yours? Mine is uh, Ish Istishia. Oh, okay. Do I have any relationship with Stitia? Um, friendly with Saloon. Uh, does not say his ranking with this. Huh. I go and hand the book over to Blue because I don't think business tracking with gods. <laughs> and That's yeah, fair. behind one of the curtains, you do see another hallway. Oh, look. And yeah, Nimrus, that door in front of you is barred. It has a um, a couple metal bars on it that hmm. seem to be connected to some sort of locking mechanism. They can is only Nimbus, be on this side. Is Nimbus smart enough to realize this doubles back on where they've been? Um, give me a um, nature check? Might be survival, survival check? Yeah, survival work. Survival or nature, I'll give you either one. Where one you like? Oh uh, no, you you don't you think it keeps going somewhere else? Oh, this goes somewhere new, guys. Oh, really? I think. So. <laughs> really? Okay. Uh, I'll back you up. Uh. Am I getting any sense that this is actually connected back to, to our... Stick to lockpicking, dude. <laughs> hey, now. I, I'm more than a one-trick pony. <laughs> on, on, on this side of the door, it does not need to be picked. It's just the locking me mechanism for the bars. It keeps the bars from being removed. Um... But it's not, it's not actually a lock on this side. It's just a, a metal piece that needs to be removed, and then you take the bars out. I don't know there, Nimrus. I think uh, I think you might be deceiving yourself. I think you might be uh, walking into a crack. Wow. Let's go down. No, no. So this door over here is locked, right? Uh, yes, it is. But right. no one's checked it. Let's Maybe we should uh, redirect. Uh... Hey, Nimrus, how about that door back behind us? That's definitely not coming away we've been, right? Wait, are you providing me a lock-picking challenge? Yeah, right there. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Okay. Which right door? Yeah, okay. I got you covered. Uh, All duck right, around I'll come them. over here and wide light, I guess. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay. You pick the lock? I will slowly push it open. As always. Mm. In case you need to do something involved, just yeah, yeah. See, I'm yeah, just... but I'll push the door open just slowly. I'm trying to be stealthy about opening the door. Just in case anyone's watching it. I'm giving you little hand signals or whatever. No, 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 Loading page? Oh, God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Takes me a little while to load. I'm going to say, guys, as, as you're opening the door, I'm going to say, we could probably use a short rest. <laughs> <laughs> probably, yeah. Oops. Just stay in the back and cast Sacred Flames, and you'll be all right. Though you are kind of tanky and take a good, take hits well. 
get I'd rather not be the tank. No, no. I was saying Blue's normally the tank, but he's a little uh, low on Yeah, well, if I need a tank, I'll tank. Yeah, you'll tank that I fall down on the ground, right? <laughs> That's well, what y'all meant, right? On... Well, depending on how this goes, I might be able to drop one of them before anything even happens. Mm, sure. Depends on what they are, though. They look kind of uh, humanoid, I guess. You gotta have one of one like that for all of you. <laughs> or is that a tail? Maybe they're strange or lizard people. Oh, cool. oh no, they're werewolves. Uh, how to... Werewolves? I don't know how nice. Uh... Okay. So as you're as you're slowly opening the door, um, you notice um, it smells like, like wet dog in here. Yeah, it does smell a little like wet dog. Um, it also um, you notice the shadow a shadow of something um, crouched by the door. No. Oh. Trying to trying to be trying to be stealthy, but totally failing at. Oh, mm. uh, Apparently, whoever is in this room has heard you coming. They're trying to be stealthy, but they forgot to hide their tail. Yes. <laughs> right. Wait. Question: Is this a trap? Or like a cloak or something that's going to drop on me the second I enter the room. That's just a door. It's just a door. Oh, it's okay. just a, a poorly placed door because I was quick um, putting the map together. Fair enough. So, are you going to try to parlay with him or are you going to try to... You're right there in the doorway. What are you going to do? Nimrus is gonna like vaguely as he finishes pushing open discreetly, is gonna stand up and kick it open and go, You two are terrible guards. Uh you don't see a second one in there, you just see one. Well I'll just say, you're a terrible guard. <laughs> Here, if it helps you I'll, I'll move this one back to his original hiding lane. <laughs> Basically, Nimrus is trying to pose as somebody higher ranked than this dude. So you're going to try to... I'm trying to see him as being like a new lieutenant. Give me a deception. Thinking. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> DM is loading possibilities and making calculations. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, so so as you go in the room, you're like, try try and tell them that hey, you you make a terrible guard. Um. He's he's like. Sort of like growling at you. He's he's definitely a werewolf. Um, he's he's in he's in his wolf form right now. Um, I'm trying I'm trying to think of what he would say because of how he was why he was there in the first place. Um, he's he goes. Um, uh, what 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 are you talking about? Uh, uh, Mister. Uh, we're we're here. We're here to get the killer. And and you notice um, someone move behind you. 
step out of the shadows. The there's a second the corners. There's a second werewolf behind you. Clear the corners. Nimrus is going to step here and turn to the pair and say, Stand down, sailors. We're good to go. Just. He's, he's like. He's sharper on the point. The, so the werewolf's like, we we want we want we want uh, we want uh, the uh, the money promised to us for uh, for for finding the killer. Uh, we can't have you guys taking our share. Whoa, from basically from what share? you're getting from him is that he's actually been hired to to do the same job your guys are doing. Mm -hmm. Taking your share, no, no, no. We're here to divide the share and help. And Nimrus will gesture the others to come in. Hey, hey, hey! We we are promised a hundred each, two hundred dollars, two hundred gold coins. We we don't <laughs> want to divide it by uh, uh one, two, three. Four. We don't want to divide it by five people. That be that be like twenty gold each. Wait, you only got offered a hundred each. We were offered five hundred each. How long have you guys been down here anyway? Huh? Huh? You been uh? Uh, we we've been down here for two days now trying to hunt that killer. Oh. What'd you do about the croc? Croc? Oh. What croc? We don't see no croc. Yeah, there was like a croc pot in the other room. What'd y'all do with it? Uh, just That's statues right. on the room. That's what I mean. <laughs> Maybe we can uh, send them up to the pool to go get the treasure. Eh? You're, you're weird, man. While the other guys are distracting these guards, can Nimrus make a quick, like, slight hand, try and take keys off them? Uh, you can give me a slight hand, yes. Who? Uh, you don't find any keys, and he's not very happy that you just tried to steal something from him. He's oh, like, no. get your hands off. Uh, the, uh, uh, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. Uh, the, the black blood does not take kindly to, uh, uh, humans trying to steal from us. He was just trying to take the flea off of you, man. No, yeah. no disrespect. The silver serpents handshake is a bit oblique. I'm going to try and pass this off as like a weird shake of the hand. <laughs> Give me a deception. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so what are the other guys doing? You just walking and through, looking through the room or something like that? Sure. Yeah, I'm going to do a, I'm going to do a perception check on the room. I'm going to perception the desk and chairs. Just see what else I see. Got my light source going. Um, so this this looks like mainly a, just like a storage room for <laughs> furniture. <laughs> and it, um, some, some of the furniture has been set up, but most of it's just uh, put up, put like in the corners and stuff like that. It looks like bar, bar furniture. Okay. And on on the table are a couple couple mugs of half drunk beer. What's in the mug? Beer. Uh that was our that was our dinner. You mind if I partake of your tasty you, no, 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 no. you may not want to do that. Uh the the inn's just upstairs. Why don't you go there? They they, they have good beer there. That's where we got ours. Why don't you go get me one then? Uh, you gonna give me the money? 
How much does it cost? No, he's talking about the money. You know. How much do they charge for a uh, beer upstairs? Uh, five silver. Yeah, yeah, five silver. He kind of smiles and winks at the other guy. You heard the lieutenant. Get to it. Yeah, here's a... Here's a couple of gold. Bring around for all of us. And then we can search for the killer together after we've quenched our thirst. Yeah, yeah. We could use some good tanks. Yeah. Tankers, I mean. Tank tankers. I guess that would be three, um, three, three gold. Three gold I hand him. Uh, he takes the gold and he says, thank you. And he, and he, uh, he goes away through this door. It doesn't, doesn't appear like it's locked. All right. And he disappears. All right. You gonna lock that door, Gamers? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, before they went, they took their beers. Damn it. As I lock it, I'm gonna jab a dagger in. And snap it off. So that you can't pick it or like you're gonna have to smash it from the other side. You're I'm gonna one really dagger lock. from your Alright. No problem with that. And you're doing it on the door you're standing in front of? Yeah. No, the one they went out of. <laughs> the one they left from. We came from that way, though. Like, I don't know if we about. block this way, we can't head that way. Doesn't matter. That's where they went. That means there's oh. no killer that way. All right. Well, I blocked the door the guards went then. Yeah, they didn't look like they're dressed as guards. They looked more like they're dressed as a. You mean they were wearing clothes? They were wearing armor and, uh, but they, they didn't have like any guard insignias or anything. They had uh, no dog um, tags. No dog tags. Yeah, they they had like it. It wasn't like a uniform would probably be the best way of saying it. Mm -hmm. They had armor on, but they had. Um, it was like mismatched armor and all that stuff, right? It wasn't really... Mm -hmm. mm. Alright, well, Nimbus will run over, lock the door, and then break a dagger in it. So they've got to break it open to get through. They they thing. were wearing insignias, insignias, but they weren't dog tags. They were more like uh, tattoos. Mm-hmm. No, I was I was saying dog tags just to pick on them being werewolves. No, uh, uh, uh. Let's, uh, scooch that, let's scooch that table over against the wall to, against the door too. Not a bad idea. Oh, yeah, okay. Guidance, see you guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Nimrus will help do it, but he's not that strong. I'm not Give me strong a strength check. Uh, athletics. You push the table over to the door. All right. Okay. So is this a safe enough space to get a good rest? Uh, we can carry onward and feel the like the yeah. Can we take a short rest from this point? Um. At least until they come back with the beer. No, Pete's trying to move the table. Oh, I see. <sighs> trying to squish me against the wall, you guys? Really? Fuck you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll let you get a short rest. Yeah, okay. Okay. So, nothing changes for me, but you guys get slots and hit points back. 
But I haven't taken damage. I just wanted my spell slot back. I don't know about the cleric. I think the cleric needs a long rest for his spell slots. Yep, I do. Mm. Go ahead and burn one more. Why not? Uh, I need to actually take a real time break for a second. So, oh. yeah, after about an hour, they don't come back, though. All right. Okay. And you don't hear any noise at the door either. Like they did come back. Sure. They, uh, gonna... they went and they had some beers and then they just kept drinking them. Yep. They took your money and they kept drinking it. <laughs> I'm going to take a real time break for about yep. five minutes. But y'all carry on without me if you want to. All right. So we've got a we've got a a concealed passageway down here. Do we want to go check that one out? Yeah. I'm all about concealed stuff. I'm gonna give you guidance once again. Slap you on the back. Say you can do it. Check this door for. So um. Coming up this or coming down these stairs here, you notice in one of the corners here in the corner is uh, a mop or a broom and bucket, mm -hmm. and the bucket's full of dirt. Interesting. Excavating. And the door is locked. Well. I can deal with that quite quickly. Nimrus will pull out his feeds tools and try and open the door. And yeah, the the bucket with dirt, is, the dirt's like gray and it's it's very fine, like chalky. You unlock it. I'm going to gently push it open, but I'm going to look at the bucket suspiciously. Like, I've got a vague feeling the previous captain I served under had a similar bucket, but I can't put my finger on it. Okay, you open the door, and you see a lit room. Uh, looks empty, has uh, some bookshelves in it, and a desk, some paper on the desk, some books on the bookshelves. The door in the far side of the room. Doesn't look like anyone's in here. Any maps in this room? On the bookshelf, on the desk? Uh, give me a perception. Investigate. Which one? Either one. I'll let you do it. Okay, you find a couple maps on the shelves. Uh, you find a map to this town. Mm -hmm. You find a map of the island. Um, you find a map of the nearby islands, so the area. It's also a naval map that has some um, some information on uh, uh, where reefs are and stuff like that. And um, All right. you find a map of another town. Um, when you look at the writing, the town's name is on the on the map, and you looking at the map of the island, you see that the town is on the island. So it's another town on this island. It is the town of. It's, it's actually not so much a town when you look at the map. It's kind of more like a fortress almost. Oh, more red. 
It is Dying Gall. Let me write that down for you. D Y N A T. Okay. Oh, that should be D nine. Dying Wrong key. Yeah. And it's 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 not so much a town and more of a maybe of a fortress, but yeah, it's hmm. interesting. On the table you see um some papers. They look like they've been recently written. It's, it's like it's written in ink and the ink's not entirely dry. Uh -oh. That's good. It means they haven't been sent. Mm, indeed. So what are the writings of? So, um... They are not common. Hmm. So, um, what languages do people speak here? Primordial. Not primordial. For some reason, my sheet is wrong, and the only language I have is Steve's Khan, but I should have, like, Whatever the underwater language is, it's not the it's, not, and it's is... not the underwater language either. Common, and com yeah, common, infernal, and sylvan. It's not infernal or sylvan either. Okay. Let me check. Sylvan is. Forest creatures. So, to Toby, Forest. it's a hey, right? com common and primordial yeah. for you. As well. Common and primordial for me, yeah. Yeah. I don't think it's Sylvan, but let me just double check. Language. Wrong page. So I'm in the planar travel. That's not like. So for the front. No, it's not um Sylvan. It um looking at it though, it does seem to have some characteristics that are similar to Sylvan. So if you know Sylvan, you probably recognize um that it looks like it's Elvish. Hmm. No, it's pretty funny that nice. nobody in our party knows Elvish. <laughs> right. Usually, I think. Thing. Wait, which is a wait a second. Yeah, he might. I have a book of ancient secrets thing. What's that do? But but he's oh. currently drinking, so. Mm -hmm. Do we? <laughs> oh him, yeah. I do have comprehend languages. The first that will well, work. I cast it as a ritual because it's in my book of Eldritch secrets. Well, what you wait? Take ten minutes, but you sit, do that. I'm going to search this desk. And as Nimrus says this, he is literally reclining in the office chair with his feet <laughs> on, like <laughs> looking at this, and, like inspecting for traps, but being very, like, appearing to be lapsadaisical about it. I'm going to investigate the door. There's no traps on this door. There, there is no door. What door? <laughs> that solid wall right there. What are you talking about? There's no door. This is just a painting of doors. It's like the, the rabbit bugs bunny or the uh, Wile E. Coyote thing, right? Yeah, you don't find anything on that door. So, um, hmm. Jody deciphers the language and he, and he um, looks at the papers and he um, 
he starts reading through them. It looks like um, they are notes on arrival departure of ships, um, and they mention the people killed in the docks, but not by description. Um, putting this information together, you figure out that it's actually um, um, the killings are actually covering up for a smuggling operation. Yes. Someone's getting good into the sound without the five fingers finding out about it. They're distracting them with a what are those red flags? Bloody red flags. Bloody red flags dipped in the blood of the people who've been killed. <laughs> so you have still yet to find the killer, but you have found a little more information. Yeah, true, we have true. motive, at least. And we have some goods coming into town that they don't know about. So that may be worth finding out about. Could they be magic items? Oh, we're magic items. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Could they be Scooby Snacks? We don't know. Scooby Snacks. Box. <laughs> Boxes and boxes of Snoop Scooby Stacks. Man, contraband goods there. Get a whole town hot. Could be Pirate's Booty Popcorn. Cucumber <laughs> Rollies. <laughs> Looking at the shipments. Pirate's Booty. So, um... Blue swears that that door is blocked. <laughs> he swears that that door in the back's locked. Hmm. You want me to investigate it? Don't bother, man. I investigated the shit out of that door. I'm telling you. Can you give me guidance? There's no getting through it. No Wait, reason to. Do you know, Blue? Are you saying there's no way anyone's getting through that lock? That's what I'm saying, man. Oh, that sounds like Nimbus a literally hops out of the chair and runs to the door and starts to pick lock. What's the opposite you, of guidance? You you, you go to pick the lock and you notice there's no lock on the door. I give you oh, I, it. I told you you couldn't pick that lock. Finger waggers, a bunch locked. of you. Oh, then I'll just kick it open. Oh no, Cthulhu! <laughs> so what was that? Just like a knot or something in the wood? <laughs> Must have been. Yeah, no, I'm just kicking it open. Like, right next to the door handle. Just boom. Okay, in, in the in the back room, you, um, you find some crates and another door. A couple barrels as well. All right, man, it's drinking time. Going on another door. What's in these barrels? Um, you going to pry them open? I'm going to kind of, are they full of liquid or full of, uh... They sound like they're full of something, but they're lying on their sides. Lying on their sides. Any sign of dirt on the floor? Uh, no. No dirt on the floor. I wonder if they're smuggling people into town. Can I give these barrels a look over, like, as a rogue? Do these look like smuggling containers? Um, they feel kind of full. They feel like there's something in them. Does it feel like a liquid, though, or a... Does not feel like a liquid. Let's pop open the crate first, since the barrel it might spill. Mm. I don't crate. think it will. I'm like, yeah, crowbar, someone I'll post the barrel again. Oh, yeah, I've got a crowbar. Give me a strength check with advantage. Alrighty. Okay, yeah, you, you tear open the crate, and inside the crate, uh, you find uh, four silver short swords. Nice. Nice. Um, let's grab some. You know, werewolves. Yep, exactly. I wouldn't mind taking one. Hmm? So add a silver short sword to our inventory? Sure. Add two for Nimrus. What are you, what are you wielding currently, Nimrus? 
a rapier and a whip, I believe. No, rapier, short bow, dagger, club. So now I've got a short sword that is silvered. Or two. two. <laughs> Just what? like the guy in, uh, what's that name? What Mariachi. <laughs> Ignore <on>. that. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm wondering how the hell that got out there. Get up. Get up and about. That's in the crate, eh? Anything in the bottom, false bottom sort of thing? Give me investigation. No. Let me find my character sheet. Uh, investigation. Uh, I actually have a bug plus an odd one. Mm. Nope. No, no, no false bottom here. I don't think there's a false bottom at least. If it, or if there is, it's a very bad false bottom. Come on, short sword, where are you? Short bow, short sword. There we go. So I don't think I'm proficient in short sword. Well, simple weapons, maybe. I don't know. So anything on the crates that indicate where it came from or who it's destined who it was destined for? Um, there is a symbol of a crown on the crate. Uh -oh. hmm. Is this a royal seal? It looks like it could be. Um Um, I think, are, are any of you guys from this area? Um, no, well, I started near the Christmas stuff house, remember? You, you, yeah, you, you're definitely not from the area, but, um. I'm from the Great White North. Nimrus might, might be familiar. Nimrus, uh, might be from the... Nimrus is generally only been above water for like two years and most of the time was on a pirate ship. So yeah, you probably wouldn't recognize the symbol. I mean, I've been around the block, but I'm not necessarily going to say it's been with this area. Nimrus knows smuggling and deceit, though. You can give like me like a, a history with disadvantage? <laughs> Who's doing this? What history disadvantage you say? Um you you definitely do recognize um this as an F folk um uh <laughs> Symbol? I'm like looking over your shoulder like, oh, yeah, yeah. So, um, for, the, for those that don't know, um, I'm not sure if I'm saying this right. It just could be the folk. But it's, it's the F folk or F folk or however they pronounce it. It's the people that live in the, this area. They basically, mm -hmm. they're, they're like a, a, a branch of, of humans. That have lived on these isles for quite a while. They have their own kind of language. And it looks like it may be um, one of their royal uh, symbols, but you don't know which, like, which royal belongs. But you, you recognize some of the, like, sketching and stuff similar to what the Ed folk do on, like, on their artwork. Like, may, maybe you saw something on, similar on, like, a building or on a, on a chair or something like that. All right, I'm gonna use that crowbar and bust open the one of the barrels. Okay, you bust open the barrel, and a hundred silver coins pop go full full in. <laughs> the barrel is full of silver coins. Does that mean we each have 25 now or something, or what? 
Well, it depends. Are you going to bust open the other barrel? Yep. Busting open the other barrel. 100 more silver coins. Yeah. Now, the what barrels kind of were full of silver coins. Now, what kind of markings are on these silver coins? Um, They are this same markings for this kingdom that you're in. So, the FO markings. Okay. Um, These are possible, if... right? Mm -hmm. hmm? These are possible, right? Either if way, that's good currency, right? Yeah. They, they're regular I currency. They... Sorry, Pete, you cut, cut off. Yeah. They are regular currency for the area. Um, though you... You do know that um, generally silver coins are not traded in this area right now. Hmm. I should say specifically on this island. Hmm. So they take they're, copper. They're they take gold. Down. They're taking it melting they take... it down into silver into short swords and other weapons. Could be other war creatures. Mm. Nimrith's knowing the roguey stuff he does. Can he try and break below where the silver pours out? Like, is there anything hidden below the silver? Give me a check. Uh, what sort of check? Investigation, peace tools. You're trying to break it out. Investigation, right? You're checking the coin itself, right? To see if it's really pure silver or. No, 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 I'm checking the actual barrel itself to see if there's a secret shelf of other sh other Bottom stuff thing. hidden below it. Yeah, like false bottom or false side or something. Yeah, it sounded more like you were just busting into it instead of actually trying to pry into it. But okay. More of just give it a kick, give it a tap, see if I hear anything that sounds like an well, extra false area. It, if you want, if you want to bash it, give me another crowbar check. If you want to, uh, if you want to search it, give me an investigation. Or um... I'm not going to bash it. I'm investigating. He's trying to keep it a pristine condition, so that it's not suspected as it's been tampered with, right? More of a, I don't want to damage what's inside. You uh, never know what's hidden in a false bottom. True. But yeah, 19 investigation. Uh, you don't find any uh, secret. Well, sure. Alright, so we each got, what, 70 gold coins? 70 silver coins? 70? I counted 50. Because it was 200. Depends whether you're sharing or not. I'm sure. I was uh, counting 50. Or are we sharing with Michael? I think we are. Uh, uh, so 50 silver each. Yeah, I'm looking here, but I do not see any information on the coinage for the area right now. And it might take me a while to find some. So yeah, this is just whatever coinage they might use for this area is what coins they're in. But more specifically, we have all silver coins and silver swords and yeah. yeah. So. But yeah, generally, like the 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 bar upstairs, the uh, the people, the merchants in the town, generally they do not accept silver coins. Like they won't turn them down, but they but would they rather. Don't... They're not generally circulated. Yes. Yeah, it's not the preferred currency. It's either probably copper really... or gold. It's probably or really... um, electrum. They'll use electrum instead. Mm. Oh God. Yes. I've never been in a campaign where Electrum was actually used. <laughs> in this town, this is where they'll actually use it. Oh, God. We gotta it's leave. The they basically use it instead of uh, silver pieces. So basically, this is a town where they pay in $2 bills, right? Yeah. Um... Kinda, yeah. It'd be it. It'd probably be more like a fifty cent pieces. Mm -hmm. Right, Kennedy's. No, it's a two dollar bill, but all of your change. 
is in pennies. Yeah. <laughs> it sucks. So is this a door here at this far end? Um, at the far end, it's not really a door. It's it is it is a passageway. It it does like open up, but it's actually more like a, a like flat stone. stone. Like a smuggler's chute or something. It's more like a flattened stone. It's like um. It rolls the thing to the side. Yeah, it rolls to the side. It's oh, okay. You know, almost like a sarcophagus lid or something. Like that. All right, Ooh. let's roll it open. Yeah. Barn door. Or whatever. I will check for traps first before we roll it out. Nimbus is paranoid enough to know not to just open a thing. You think you hear some moaning behind it? <laughs> Check for and then. Oh yeah, blue. You can go first. Are you gonna tell what you hear? <laughs> no, no, no. There's uh, you don't either. Find a trap There's either a creepy party or or a creepy party stuff that blue can deal with. Which is also a creepy party. <laughs> Either way, blue should go first. So, no. Nolpa, you're going to have to give me a strength check or, you, or advantage of strength check with the crowbar. Do you want cadets? Wait, I rolled this one. supposed to be advantage? Huh? Yeah, that should have oh, been advantage, not disadvantage. <laughs> so way, that was insane. a 15. Roll so, yeah, a d4, yeah. see what you get. Alright. 15's good enough. You got and it. And you reveal the zombies. Ah. No, so, so when you when you slide it across, um, you get a, a gust of gust of air blows by you, like blows your hair and stuff, if you have any hair. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And um, you just you hear, Neil, Neil. you hear the sound of wind blowing down the tunnel. Hmm. Does it smell like ocean? You, yes, you smell seawater. Hmm. Oh hell yeah! You did not go that way. Yeah, let's go that way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Tag one behind you guys. Which map should I put you on? We're on the edge of this map. <laughs> Whatever that means. It leads out to the like where a dock or something. Yeah, so you are now basically outside of Caramore. Um Can I zoom you? Probably not. There's, there's really not much to show you anyways. Basically, um, you're just southeast of the town. Not by much. Um, you're still, you're on the, on the coast. Um, there's like a beach here, um, but no docks. It looks like, um, looks like someone's dug a tunnel into the side of the hill uh -huh. or the, like the embankment where the uh, water would normally, uh, like a makeshift uh, dock, like a hidden smuggler's dock. It could be, could be a hidden smuggler's dock. Though there's not really, there's not really a spot for a big boat to land here. Question: Out of blue and Bobby, who is wearing the heaviest armor? Blue. Then. Nimrus will help Blue get up to the surface. You're not underwater. Oh, I thought we were like coming out of like a sewer into ocean. No, you're you're on the beach. Basically, this is like um, there's like a cliffside on the side. Of, uh, you're on a beach. There's a cliffside next to you, and there's a tunnel into the cliffside. And um, we've just come out of the tunnel. And you just came out of the tunnel. This is above water. Uh, 
Let's go back. Though it may, it may be underwater at high tide. All right, let's go back. You want to go back to town or back to the sewers? Back to the sewers. Yeah, we got a murder to catch, don't we? There might be more barrels of silver somewhere, man. Mm -hmm. All right. But yes, you did not see anyone on the beach. There wasn't anyone on the beach. Um, you didn't see any footprints around the beach. All right, let's work our way back around. Can we do that? How much time has passed? That's a good question. Is like, how much in-game time has passed? Is everyone we have going one hour to... for a long rest, or short rest. I guess there's a second hour to come and swap me out with my pool. You just had a short rest. Right. Just like... Less than an hour ago, you had short rest. Okay, it's been that short. Hasn't been that long. Like, you took a short rest in that room, you went to the other room, you searched it, you searched another room, and then you went outside and back in, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's totally fair. I was just wanting Probably to an hour's worth of work, maybe two. Right. I mean, we were investigating that 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 room pretty good. So, yeah, maybe a couple hours. So you're gonna join me up here? Sure, where are we? Hmm. Are we? Where are you? Find the blue toilet. Oh, sorry. You are back on the on the side of your over here. Yeah. 20%. In the chat room. We're up here. 50%. We're going down. There we go. Okay. So in here you find um, what kind of looks like a storage room for um, dry goods. So mm. foodstuffs that won't spoil very much. Mm. Uh, flour. Um, uh, sugar. It looks mostly like supplies with salt. Is there any way up? Nimrus is going to steal all of the jerky. All the what? All of the jerky. Any dried meats Nimrus is taking. Dried meats? Um Would they have dried meat? I'm going for any canned fish. Nothing canned. There's no canned stew food. <laughs> um, might have dried you. fish, right? Mm -hmm. Even uh, no dried fish. Let's see. They may have been eaten by the werewolves. Mm. 
no wonder they drank all the beer. <laughs> all right. Oh, well, we managed to connect back to your bathroom. Okay. Um, that's okay, then. So we got, oh, not much left from this side of the map. We should go, well, you know, the thorough investigation of all the various stores in this room. To make hey, sure there's go. nothing hidden away. Yeah, I think or we're good on. here. Let's go check out that intersection. I was thinking that too. Is there any way of just putting of our character there automatically? Or do we have to move it ourselves? A uh, peak and copy him. Like click and drag a box and yeah. copy and paste all the ones. Yeah. There we are. And something's revealed. Okay, so you be on the lookout for giant croco crocodile footprints or droppings. <laughs> all right. Oh, oh look! Footprints. <laughs> A hallway that seems to go on for a long time. The door. Well, door always looks like a good I'm idea. I'm gonna slap a uh, Toby. Nimrus is just gonna sigh. He hasn't even put his tools away at this point. <laughs> Let me assist you with your picking. <laughs> oh wait, that's wrong as well. I mean, let me assist you with this bell. Yeah, I already slapped him in the back when he walked by me. 20. Do you see 20? I think you rolled a 1. <laughs> um, yeah, you unlock the door. What's it look like peeking in? It looks like um, a room that's got some Supplies in it, um, uh, furniture, boxes, um, uh, clothes, um, dressers, and stairs going up. I'll go listen to the stairs. You don't hear anything. It is, uh, it's like a trap door. It's not a normal door. It's a floorboard. Okay. I'll jam a couple of arrows, try and keep it shut. Like through the handle into the staircase. It, it looks dark. Doesn't look like you don't see any light coming from through the floorboards or anything like that. Ooh. Just to be sure. It is um it is late in the day, so it could be nighttime now. I'm not exactly sure when you guys came in here. There is another door in the room down here as well, a locked door. Yeah. Yeah, I'd just like to have our backs covered. He may not have picked up on it yet, but no. Nimrus is super paranoid about being backstabbed. I guess you do it so well. I'll have to learn to backstab him once in a while. <laughs> once he thinks he's got the trapdoor secure, he'll pop down to Bobby and be like, need a hand? No, I've been tapping you with multiple hands. Haven't you seen? You're going to have one hand for me. Open that door. Shh. Oh, he just went right through it. <laughs> uh, so you open the door, you find a hallway that leads quite a ways before it... Um... It uh, comes into a, a canal full, full of water. Mm. 
Oh, wait. Nimrus can't actually see anything if blue isn't in range. Because no dark vision. Oh, yeah, yeah. A light. We need a light. Oh, Bobby probably sees it. Okay, I'll walk in there with you. Uh, you can hold it and hold. Put your hand on my shoulder. I'll... Yeah, I... I've got a hand on Bobby's shoulder with rapier in the other hand. Bobby, do you have a, do you have red nose or not? Yes, I do. Glowing? What? <laughs> does it glow? I don't think it does. I don't know. Let's see, let me see. I have a trophy, a reindeer. You have antlers, right? Yeah, I'm trying to read the reindeer horn. Hollowed. I do have antlers that have grown out of my head. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you got the red nose or someone else got the red nose. I think somebody else got the red nose. I got a honey yeah. trap. Yeah, someone else probably got the red nose. Because I remember someone getting a red nose that glows in the dark. All right. Probably uh, the drunk guy. Probably. It would have been most appropriate. <laughs> but no, I don't know. But so I wouldn't want it since I see in the dark drawer anyway already, so. True. It might, it might get in the way if you're seeing in the dark. Mm-hmm. But it's yeah, you... for, I think I have the thing for socks, so. Where is that? Yeah. Stocking figure prominently in my visions. What are my visions? Uh, except for awful visions of a coming disaster, and they'll do anything to prevent it. Mm, I have to get about that. <laughs> yeah, you have a couple of madnesses, I think, permanent. Yeah. <laughs> Don't tell us. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you you see um, quite a ways down the tunnel, it um, it uh, intercepts with a, a storm yeah. drain or something like that, with water running through it. Back. Interesting. So basically, we can map, map out this top left corner eh? if we go wandering around well enough. I like come over here and go go up on here. Same thing over there. It goes off to a storm drain. Yeah. Up here, it leads somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Stairs going back up. Oh. I'm not seeing the unlocks you guys are getting provision. Ooh, more provisions. Ooh, look, it's something. You, you in darkness or something? No, I'm just not seeing what they're seeing. Because I don't have dark vision. Oh no, I don't have dark vision either. I've got the light going. Yeah. Yeah, but you between your light and the dark vision of Bobby, you guys can see fine. I can't see anything unless I'm near blue. Right. True. So anyway, as we cross this bridge, we probably want to tread lightly so that we don't disturb any crocodiles. It's not a bridge. It's a tunnel. There's water dripping from the ceiling. Oh, yeah? Uh-oh. So it goes underneath? Went under the, the alligators. Chain. You went underneath the alligators, yes. Or crocodile, crocodile. It goes down, then back up again. All right, where's that crowbar at, man? Can I borrow that again? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, you, you go into I'm... a room, there's a bunch of crates, a barrel... Um, you also see uh, what looks like a trap door in the ceiling, uh, but no no uh, stairs leading up to it. Try to mage hand it? We can move the crates if we need to, right? Mm, yeah, we could make it a stack that we can reach it. Very, yeah. yeah, we can do that. Might make a bit of noise, but... Well, mage hand the door first. Let's see. Maybe mm -hmm. there's like a rug over it or a desk or something. Yeah, let's see. Get in there. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't it doesn't move when you try to mage hand it. Mm. It's locked. <laughs> All right, let me pop open these crates. That's too much for you, Captain. How much? Uh, how how does this room look in terms of dust? Does it look like somebody's been shuffling through it, or is there dust settled all around the floor? 
Um, it looks fairly clean. It um, doesn't look like anyone went down those stairs, though. That you just... mm -hmm. hmm. I'm just trying to imagine a room that uh, you have a trap door into it, but no way of getting through the trap door up. It's like, is this there? Uh... Well, again, it could have been, it could be sitting on a piece of furniture or something. Mm, true. I was just trying Can I to scan the room. Yep. Just so... like looking for any levers, activation points, stuff like that, that I think I'd spot as a rogue. Give me an investigation. Uh, you don't spot anything out of the ordinary. Nothing hidden, nothing secret. Um, crates, boxes, furniture, clothes. Um, are we losing the crates? I'm opening the crates, man. Uh, crate, you're opening one of the crates? Well, if a 13 can open it. You just release um, the crates. You pop open one of the crates, and inside the crate you find a bunch of steel bars. Hmm. Probably about um twenty steel bar. Wow. I'm curious what's in this crate over here. Yeah, let's try that. The other crate. Yeah, yeah. Looks like a coffin, if you ask me. Hmm. Going to bust open that crate. Yeah. 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 Okay, inside that crate you find one two handed axe. One two handed maul. Hmm. And two long swords. Is that because you're running out of minutes, or...? No, it's because of the daily login thing. Mm. It always on. resets at 4 a.m. for some yeah, reason. It resets the IP. It re it re well, I think we're almost done for the night anyways. It's, uh... Yeah. 11 right. o'clock, sir. Let's Call open those barrels, then. We're just opening everything. And then we unleash... Okay, in one of the barrels you find it is full of coal. Hmm. That's good for uh, getting the furnace going. Melting yeah, I down. If they're smelting or something. That's what I'm thinking. Steel bars and weapons, and yeah. Over other room with silver and silver weapons. What else they got? Um, another, another barrel is. Um, Clue. Don't you have that detect magic spell? Do you, do you think maybe these things might be magical? <laughs> One of the girls is full of bullets. Oh, nice. Sling bullets. Nice. So, can you detect magic or do you need me to do it? Uh, I think I can do it. I don't want you to burn a slot, but. Well, I can. Uh, I, it does, I can do it. It just takes ten minutes, right? It's ritual. Yes. Ritual link. Ritual link. Well, you guys are busting up in these uh, barrels and stuff. I'm getting this ready. And Nimrus is basically guarding you guys as you do this. Oh, even better. That He's just covering the door. It seems to be the barrel. intro. Is full of oil. Nice. Is it starting to leak now that we've busted it open? Depends on how we bust it open. Mm, no, we, just, we just lifted the lid on the top, so we should be able to close it back up. Mm. Yeah, um, he's using a crowbar instead of a brute force smash. So yeah, you, you don't see anything magical here. Okay. 
Just your run-of-the-mill weapons. Anybody got uh, some vials so we can get some oil? I've got two empty potion vials. All right, let's fill those with oil. I think I have one empty potion. Mm -hmm. oh, I just got here, so I haven't been quaffing any potions. So. <laughs> Actually, no, yeah. I don't. I just have a potion of healing. I guess I did not quaff it. Yeah. So, yeah, so at least fill your two vials with oil, right? Mm-hmm. Right, Nimrus? I mean, do you want to dump it? Doing me? so. Mm. Nimrus will fill two vials with oil. Okay. Well, and so now we're down to the rest of the dungeons. That's it. That's all there is. That's it. Well, uh, yeah, I guess so. Well, hmm. I wonder if we want to go after the crocodile. <laughs> Maybe it's got a crocodile treasure down there or something. I'm so not has... swimming in that crap again. <laughs> but wait, we haven't solved the mystery of who's been doing all the killing. Do we need to go top side now to figure that out, or go up to the pub upstairs or whatever and start up? Oh, you around. haven't you haven't figured out who's been doing the killing yet. Have, have we figured that... out what they've been smuggling? Just the coins and the weapons. That's a good question. Weapons. Did you figure out what they've been smuggling? Seems like they're in the weapons, weapons business. Mm. Maybe for next time. Perhaps. Yeah. And on that note, boys and girls. All right. Thanks all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, it's 10 o'clock. Hey, we're almost, yep. we're, about, we're about ending on. So, so what's next week? Hmm. Do we get to find out what happened to Kulam Snacks? Oh, we're still not anywhere near. Ready for Kulam Snacks? We're ready for Kulam's. Uh, Kulam's. Uh, am I? Am I? Do, am I continuing with our adventure here? Might be. Uh, we have, have we heard from Michael since last week, or? Yeah, no, we haven't. We know where but it for is. now, we'll just say that we'll plan on uh, continuing next week with the uh, pirate, and that way I can end yeah. the stream. I think that's the best way to go: is say pirates next week, hopefully with Michael, but we'll see. Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. Thanks for uh, watching, everybody. So Thank next you. week is board game bash. So I, but I'll probably be here on Sunday night. The week after that, I'll be out of town on a trip with my dad. So it'll be next week play, but then I'm off for a week, so you guys can play without me if you want. Yeah, I know I'll be out uh, Labor Day weekend, which is the... Yeah, I think there's a party slash engagement slash housewarming thing on the, that weekend, too, for me. Yeah, so Not for me personally, but... So the first will be off for me. So, All right. Uh, okay. Ending the stream. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you.